Um, I, I was, it was like a Tuesday morning. I was coming from the gym one, one morning. Um, it was like 10 in the morning. My dad, get, I, I'm taking a shit. I just finished working out. I'm wearing like these tiny green shorts. I had no shirt on. I had no shoes on. Hello? Julian, they're trying to steal the boat. Trying to steal the boat. So right away, I just, I don't even wipe my ass. I put on my shorts, I run outside. And when I got to about here is when I really realized my boat was completely missing from the water. They fucking had cut these wires. They just let the boat drop and they took it. I start crying. I throw my phone on the floor. I'm just freaking out, whatever. I look down, down the canal, and I see that there's my boat being towed by a tiny little boat. Like, the boat that was towing this one was probably like from here to here. It was like the little boats you ran in Disney World. It was tiny, and there was three guys on it. So I start panicking, I start panicking. I call my mom, and I'm like, Mom, they stole the boat, what do I do? I, I'm freaking out, I'm like crying, screaming, and my mom just tells me to calm down, don't worry about it, all this shit. So that just got me super fucking upset. Like, we don't have insurance on this boat anymore. So like, right away when she told me like not to worry about it, I just hung up on her, like, wasn't gonna deal with that. So I call my dad, I call my dad up, and my dad's just super like, nonchalant about it too, like, don't worry, We'll figure it out. So I said fuck it and I was gonna take the law into my own hands. So I ran inside and I grabbed my rifle and I decided I was gonna run down and find these guys. And I just started running. Still in my underwear, I was barefooted, I, I had a rifle in my hands and I, it was raining that day so it just made everything like a lot more dramatic. Yeah. And the baby ducks down there. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> it's cute. It was the fastest I've probably ever ran in my life. I was barefooted. I just didn't give a fuck. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Finally, after like running two, three blocks, I look and I see the motherfuckers with my boat on the canal. They were right there when I stopped them. Instantly, I knew they were Cuban. Just by looking at them, you could tell they were Cuban. I didn't know how I was gonna approach them. My Spanish isn't the best Spanish. I, I wanted to really like argue with these guys, but I was just so fear like furious. I just couldn't bring out any like Spanish words out of my mouth other than the word pistola. That's all I kept screaming. Pistola, 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 oye pistola, idiota, te mato pistola. And that's all I kept saying and I'm like, yo, this is gonna fucking scare these guys, but it didn't scare them at all. They didn't give a shit. They were just saying, no, 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 este mi bote, this is my boat, don't worry. It, it, it turns into this like back and forth fight between these three guys on, on my boat. One of them was on my boat and the other two were on the little boat towing it. It was so sloppy. They had a rope, it was like, fought like, dude, it was so sloppy. I'm arguing with them, I'm arguing with them, and luckily, I hear a noise, and it's a jet ski. My neighbor, who had seen the whole thing happen, was coming down, he lives about three houses down, on a jet ski with a gun in his hands, just hauling ass down to get these guys. He just comes out of nowhere. There's an angel sent from above. He has a Glock 9 in his hand, and he's just riding up to these guys. And I don't even know what he said. Like, he was definitely like a lot more like cool and collect than I was, and he's like, Yo, Julian, shut the fuck up. Go back to your house, like, wait for us there. And it just went very smooth from there. My neighbor took these guys to the middle of the lake for some reason to, like, talk. And it just seemed like the most mafia encounter ever. Because it's just raining, like, in the morning. It's just raining, a cloudy morning raining. And there's just, like, these guys, like, talking in the middle of the lake. And I I'll never forget, I was standing right here. I, was, I wasn't gonna do anything, but like, it just made me feel better. I was standing here with my rifle like that. Like if they were gonna like try to attack my neighbor, then I would have just sniped them down, <laughs> whatever. Like, so finally they brought back the boat and you know, my neighbor basically told him, look, we're not gonna call the cops. You know, I know how you look. Like, don't ever show up here again. Like a super Scarface thing to do. There's a lot of canal bandits. And the thing is, it's like these canals connect to all of Miami. 
So it's like anyone from their own backyard, from anywhere, could get a canoe, get a little shitty rowboat, and just travel around and like, no one will ever catch you. There's no coast guards here. There's no like... And this is how I got my boat back. Um, and in case you guys were wondering, I'm not racist. I'm actually Cuban myself. My dad's Cuban, so I have nothing against Cubans at all. I just have something against those Cubans from that day. And uh, yeah, so it was, it's a crazy story, and I'm glad I got to live through it, man. Great. That's it. You got it, great, bruh?